you can see in the daytime why that building is referred to as a bottle opener, because it sure looks like one. Good morning. We are going to take line two to AP Plaza, one of the big fake areas in Shanghai. Here we go. So it's English. There we go. Choose your route. Line two. We want to go. Going to Shanghai Science and Technology Museum. It took me a bit, but I did find a map. So according to this, we're the fourth stop to Shanghai Science and Technology Museum. Please mind the gap. The only problem, at least with this line, is they don't light up and tell you what's stopping. It's hard to hear over the noise. So count your stops. Escalator's here and I know it'll gobble up a card. So you just get off and it's right there, AP Plaza. Like I said, it's right underneath. Huge, huge, huge. Don't you just love that? On sale, on sale, on sale. Cheapest price ever. Huge place. They'll make up a suit for you too if you want. Many times when we're in China or Thailand, we bring blue jeans or things to be hemmed that cost less than a dollar instead of the $10 that they want at home. Too bad I sit in front of a computer all day. There are hundreds and hundreds of stores selling everything. And this is a place to buy a pink wig if you want. It's even a KFC if you get hungry while shopping. My little minion, I love the minions. Beautiful. I mean, everything, if you go to Japan, this is just a word of advice. If you go to Japan, if you go to Bangkok, no matter where you go, even Italy, look at the labels and you will see everything is made in China. And this whole section is the jewelry section and pearls. Whether or not they're all real or not, I have no idea, but it makes no difference. If you like it, buy it. That's a great. Plunder from today's shopping at the fake market. We have here one of those lightweight jackets. You can't say it's a fake because it really doesn't say Prada or anything on it, but who cares? Steve and I each bought a pair of gloves because they have the tacky inside and the tacky fingers. So you can operate a camera, iPhone, whatever you want with them on. And my uh, gazillionth handbag. Now this one is supposed to be a fake mulberry, but I didn't buy it for that reason. Zippers, purse within a purse, more zippers, and we'll see how this holds up as a travel bag. You bargain like crazy, tell them my suggestion that you live in China and you shop here all the time. Well, Steve and I actually do shop in China all the time. The grand total, ta-da, 50 U.S. 20 for the purse, 20 for the jacket, $5 a pair of gloves. I consider it a buy. Of course, they started at well over 100 US for the purse, but just stick to your guns.